In our recent tutorial, we started working with the test lab module of ALM and we also understood that how exactly a test can be imported from the test plan in order to prepare the execution test sets. The test sets involve even the order of the test cases in terms of determining the execution condition and determining how exactly and what order the test case must be executed. We also understood the difference between execution grid and execution flow and several run modes which are available in ALM. Today, we'll be getting started with the execution and understanding more about how exactly test execution can be done with help of ALM and how do you capture and what other important parameters need to be taken care of while running the test and capturing the actual result, also reporting certain defects. Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Rish Kumar Singh and today we will be talking about the test lab and terms of executing the test cases. So let's get started and understand more about the same. In previous tutorial, we have understood about the test lab introduction and we understood how exactly we can import a test from the test plan and what exactly is the difference between execution grid and execution flow, how you can define dependency on the test and what are different run options. In this tutorial, we'll be actually running the test and seeing how exactly the test can be executed and what exactly is the manual runner and what kind of options that allows you to capture. So to start with is to click on the run button by selecting a test. So we select the first test here and click on run. As, an, as soon as you click on run, you have two options here on the top. One is to begin the run and end run or cancel run. When you say end run, it will capture one iteration of this test. That means it was started, but due to some reason it was paused. That means not completed status will be displayed to you. Can you see the status has already been updated to not completed. But to avoid counting your iterations, maybe in the beginning you found that the application is not available or not stable, so you cannot run this test. Then click on cancel run, which will not count the iteration of this test. But if you click on end run and you want to show the management that we started execution, but we could not continue due to a failure, then use the end run button. At any point of time, you can raise a new defect right at any window of the execution mode. Here you will have further details added to the execution details because this is a part of the test lab which is called as a test run. So test run will have more details in order to do that. So click on begin run and assume that you have an application with you in order to test it and start performing the steps. Now if you observe here, we don't see the parameter we see the value here, which is to be used in this test. So assume that you entered the hello and you just update the actual result here. So nothing will happen automatically here. It's just that you update based on your interaction with the application and you update the actual results. So say username is entered and displayed. And you manually drop down from here and mark the test as pass and then switch to the step two. Your password should be entered as hello at the rate one. So say your actual result is password is entered and masked. That means it is not displayed. Now you also have a provision to mark a test pass and move to the next step by using this button here. Click on this. It will mark the previous test as pass and automatically switch to the third option. So you can have quick access to different things. Click on the next one. So actual result is home page is displayed. As you tried with the valid inputs, obviously the home page is displayed. So we are not executing a project here. We are trying to understand ALM. Then again, click on this button. Now the last step has been reached, so it will not switch to any other step. If at any point your test fails, you have a new defect option here to raise a defect but we will understand about defects in more details in the next tutorial. Once you are done executing all the steps, you can click on end run. So now when you come back to your test plan, test lab, you see that first test has passed and it was executed on this date at this time. Now 
we can similarly go ahead with other test. Now that was the option run which allowed you to run only one test at a time and did not continue to the other test whereas the run test set will take you with the execution of all the tests in one go. But if I just do it once again it will start again from the first test. So that's the reason you should actually decide in the beginning whether you want to go with one run or all together. So let's do one more run and see how exactly things can be done additionally. So say we go with begin run and this time we will use the compact view. Why compact view is there? This allows you to focus on the application in more detailed way. So that you can have a small window here which you can push it to any side and then have the more desktop area to be used for the application. Assume that this is also pass username should be or is displayed that's actual result is entered and displayed and mark the step as pass it will move to step two of three password is entered and masked remember team that we are trying with invalid password this time but the expected is actual equal to actual result. So this step will be passed. The third will fail which actually validates the username and password. So error message incorrect credentials is displayed. So that means the final step has failed. So stop it here and you can quickly click on new defect and you will find the details of the defect. We will cover this in more detail later but let's just fill in the summary that as it has failed but actually it is a valid test because it should not let you come in but probably you didn't get a proper error message or something so let's report a defect here. Error message is not displayed for invalid user, user credentials. So this is just to show you that how you can uh, report a defect on the go. So you will have detected by the person. You can define a severity which could be medium because it's just a message which is not displayed. Otherwise it does not allow you to get in. And you have lot many other information available which can be added to the defect report from time to time. By default the status of the defect will be new. But yes, let's look into more details later. And the test case will also be captured if you report a defect during the execution of a test. So test details will automatically be captured. Say OK and then mark this step as failed. Now come back to your grid view and you see that one of the tests has failed and stop run. Now when you come back to your ALM you find that one second test has failed and the details at the bottom shows that the step 3 failed as you tried with a probably invalid answer and you have a lot of details about this like what was the description, what was the expected and what was the actual. So everything is very well managed in ALM which gives a clear picture to different stakeholders in order to understand. Now let's quickly go back to requirements and refresh our requirements to see if there is any change. And yes we do see that the requirement 1 which was associated to this test is now marked as failed. That means one of the tests has failed in the execution. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. I hope this episode was quite interesting to you and knowledgeable in terms of understanding how exactly executions can take place as a part of ALM. Thus, you may have a lot of other questions because these videos cannot cover all your prospects in terms of understanding a tool. Thus, make sure that if you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below and I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Well, there are still some more topics which need to be covered as a part of ALM which are basics and intermediate level of understanding on the ALM. So stay tuned for that. We will be getting back to you soon with another tutorial. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.